Hey guys, Shiffle here. Welcome back to Pokemon Sapphire. I don't know why that intro is trying to sound very tired, but... Yeah, we're here now in the um, the next the Fortress City Gym, with the Flying-type Gym, which is a thick gym badge. And because it is Flying-type Gym, I will send out Dave, who will happily take out most of these Pokemon here, so... Let's start him off with this. Anyway, so yeah, you're gonna get these puzzles that like you sort of turn these sort of things to move, but you have to turn them right, otherwise you get stuck, so you go straight in with that one, just so... It's probably the easiest one here. They're not that hard, so um, yeah, let's take on this bird trainer here. What's he gonna have? Bird keeper Jared is gonna have himself a Doduo. Have we seen a Doduo yet? I think we have, maybe seen one or two, but let's just save our Thunderbolts and just go with Shockwaves, because we can take out these first stage, first stage evolution Pokemons with Shockwaves quite easily, to be fair. So um, that's just gonna take care of it. The, the levels are actually getting a bit higher now. Level, level 30 already, which is pretty insane, but um, there's nothing to worry about. You only have one of them anyway, so it's okay. Anyway, this one here, you're going to want to go like this. And battle this trainer. Winoma, yes, that is the, uh, the gym leader's name. And we've got a picnicker here, not a bird trainer, a picnicker, but it's gonna have a, she's going to have a Swablu, so one Shockwave is going to take down the Swablu. Absolutely no problem. Don't need, need to worry about that one. Yeah, Dave is pretty much going to be taking on like the entirety of this gym. Oh, you did survive! It's interesting. But it's okay, because the one's going to just destroy you, so it's fine. But, um, yeah, so Dave's going to be taking on the majority of this gym. I mean... There's one in particular Pokemon that in this gym, in the, actually the gym leader fight, which Dave might struggle against, but I've got a feeling that everyone else is going to handle it pretty fine, so I'm not too fussed on it. But uh, yeah, we get to level 30 now, which is actually our first level 30 Pokemon, which is fine. You know, we're doing well. Anyway, so when you defeat her, I'll come up here and then go down with this to so unlock that one. This one's pretty simple too. I think you got here, and then... No, wait. You do this? I got this, trust me. You do that, there you go. Oh, okay, no, so first you gotta do this, and this, and this. Haha, -ha. there we go, we've done it. Or not stupid. I'm gonna talk to this guy and we're gonna battle him. Oh wow, he's saying there's no need for the gym leader because he's good enough on his own. Well, let's see how good you are then. If you're so good, you must have an insane team. He's got a Taylor on his team. Watch out, everybody. He's got a Taylor. He must be insane. If he's got a Taylor and he's got one more Pokemon left and he's better than the gym leader, then his must last Pokemon must be like a, like a 100 Zapdos or something stupid like that. But, um,. Unfortunately, no, it's just a swallow, so <laughs> we're just going to take out one Thunderbolt. Oh, you poor pitiful man. Yeah, this is going to destroy a swallow. I don't think you have a single chance of letting this hit. No, of course not. Dave was just too OP, man. But um, yeah, we're going to get a, sw a whacking 1000 XP. Straight in Dave's pocket. I lost. I only got $400 for that? What the hell? Anyway, this one... I believe go this way, this way, this way. Battle this guy. Okay, we're getting there. Don't worry, we're getting there. <laughs> it's not it's not a hard gym puzzle, it's just a bit tedious when you like if you're a bit confused then um it's like what the fuck. Oh so I just noticed that Bird Keeper he had um it's the same friend one, but I just noticed. Um He's got a he's got a bird cage as his like sprite, but there's no birds in the cage. We just got an empty bird cage. There's, there's literally nothing in there, so there's no need to have the bird cage in the first place. But he has one, so Wingle's gonna go down. I don't know what that means. Wingle's going down, but it does. Swallow's gonna come out. We're gonna use just Thunderbolt on you, finish you off quite easily. Oh, you're gonna quick attack me? No, my health. I was gonna sweep through the entirety of this place without losing health, but it's fine. I'm pretty sure I already lost health from that swallow before. Swallow? Nice one. Swablu. And then we've got a Pelipper, which um, is actually four times weak to electric because it's part water type, so one Shockwave should finish this. But yeah, I think this is the first time we've seen Pelipper, actually. But um, anyway, regardless, it's going to get Dave all the way up to level 31, so... He's going to be flying ahead in levels right now, but I do, not, I do not care. I am happy for him to do that because everyone else can just train afterwards. But I'm learning Roar, which I'm just going to say no to because Roar sucks. I'm pretty sure it always goes last. But it acts like Whirlwind, where it just basically sends them the Pokemon away, but we're not going to bother with it. Anyway, so now that you've done that, go come here, do this, I think. 
and do this, and then do this. Perfect, there we go. And now we're on the gym leader, cool. So, she's chilling, I believe. She's chilling. Um, I don't really need to heal, I don't think. Um, I'm pretty happy to just go ahead and try it. But, um, yeah, um, hopefully I'll be okay. And let's just get straight into it, I think. I am Winona. I am the leader of the 4 Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon. And I've still... Have you really? I thought, I thought Faulkner from the Johto region was one with bird Pokemon. But that's okay. We'll, we'll see who's the better one when you two fly, fight it out. What about Skylar from Black and White? She's there too. Anyway, she's going to start with a Swallow, which is absolutely no problem for Dave. We've been taking on Swallow's left, right, and center in this gym. But the double team's kind of scary, but I'm not too worried because I do have Shockwave in case I start missing like crazy. But I think I will. Oh, I did. Okay. Well, it's fine because we have Shockwaves. Yeah, you use double team all you like. Shockwave's going to just see right through that. They should hopefully do just enough where you don't heal, but you're below half. It should be like red health, I think. Oh, yeah, no. It's okay, I'll let you heal up. Use your potions all in your swallow. I don't, I don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm not, I would just use quick attack to finish them off after, but I just know I'm going to miss. It's just my luck. So we're just going to go for shockwave. I'm going to use one more shockwave. Endeavor, that's a cheeky move. It brings down my HP to the same as his. I'm happy with that one. Anyway, I think I'm going to have to switch out here to let you heal. Let's see who comes out first, though. Altaria, this is the powerhouse. Okay, this is a dragon of flying type, so... Electro-type moves actually won't do that well. But do I have any rock-type moves? I know they do well. Do I have any rock-type moves? No, I don't think so. That's fine though. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I do have Wilson, so what I'm gonna do is actually send. Ah! I'm trying to think because I think Wilson could probably live a flying type move. Like, bear, actually, no. That defense is pretty weak. Okay, I'll send out Swallow because Swallow's got the best defense. And um, we're just gonna try and chip damage it so far. See how we can do. It does no Dragon Dance, which is kind of. It's like a scary point of this move, but I'm, what I'm actually going to do is use secret power because hopefully that can paralyze it because it can do that. But we'll, we'll see. It's going to use dragon breath. That wouldn't do too crazy damage. Oh, apparently it does and it paralyzes me. So that is not a good sign. Okay, Barry's going down. Okay, this is going to be harder than I thought, but that's fine. Um, Let's just Thunderbolt with Dave and let it die. Let's do that. Let's go straight in with... Oh, no, let's just, let's just paralyze it with a Thunder Wave. Let's get this Altaria paralyzed so it's at least slightly nerfed. <laughs> it's going to go over Earthquake, though, which um, which is our counter to um, to Electric-types. It's just our Altaria's Earthquake, which is fair enough. But yeah, I'm really scared of its Dragon Dance, which I'm pretty sure it has. But we're going to come with Carl here. We're going to use Fake Out. Cool. We should do decent damage. If flinch, obviously, because of fake out. But then we're going to just bulk up because I've got a feeling that I can tank these dragon breaths and then just heal it when I need. And then um, I'm kind of hoping that it does paralyze me because it'll kick in my guts ability. And then I can just come with a with a throw to finish this off. So I'm going to use this probably three to four times. Dragon dance. I'm not too scared about dragon dance actually because I'm raising my defense. So if it raises its attack, it's not going to just. I'm just going to counter it with my bulk ups anyway. So. That's sort of the strat I've gone for right now. It's the kind of anything I can think about is Carl just sort of beasting it like he does. Anyway, so you're going to use another one of those. So what I'm going to do is just go straight with um, a Vital Throw or a Facade. I think Facade will do more damage. So I'm going to go from Facade. See how much this does to you. And it kills you. Wicked. That is exactly what we needed. Um, anyway, that Scary Altaria is now gone. Um, we, got, we got a Skarmory. So we're going to send out Ed to hopefully tank a hit and just overheat this thing. That's what my plan with it. If I end up dying with him, then I'll send in Grove out and then probably just revive Manetric to take out the rest of this gym, but we're okay. It's going to use sound attack, but Ed's amazing at overheat's going to hit still, right? Yes, my friend. This might not kill, but we never know. We never know. Yes, it does. Perfect. skarmory has gone down. Some new chance. Then no chance, my friend, against the almighty Ed. Anyway, we're going to send in... Um... Hmm... Let's send in Wilson. I know I can't... I'm not going to win with it, but I can wield it down enough for then Hariyama to come in and finish it off, so... 
that's my sort of plan here. Um, let's go for let's go for a rock tomb. Let's see what amp damage we can do with a rock tomb. We can lower its speed, even though the purple is slow as hell anyway. But it's gonna do okay damage, I suppose. Speed to be lower. It's gonna, be, it's gonna miss supersonic. That's pretty good. We're gonna go for leaf blade. We could always get the crit with the high crit chance, but Pelipper is gonna waste our time with protect, of course. But yeah, I'm not really scared anymore because the old tire is really my only worry. So I'm glad I can get the Polaris off on just sort of facade. Anyway, I realize it's gonna do decent. It's gonna kill. Oh, with the crit, of course. <laughs> I thought myself down. I was like, really? Is is Wilson that weak? That one that really is just gonna knock him out. Anyway, we're gonna send in Carl here. We're gonna go fake out then facade and just hopefully win this battle. Unless you do that, that is not the nicest thing. Hmm. I don't really want you to heal, so I'm gonna go for a bulk up first. And then go for a facade, and that should probably take you out. But let's see what we do. I'm probably gonna get aerial ace, but it, it probably won't even do crazy damage. Nah, it doesn't at all. We're, we're tanking it all day. And this should kill you. This should finish you off. Oh, you didn't! You survived! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! We've been, we've been confused, but I believe. I believe in Carl. This pellet will not sweep our team. I believe in Carl. One never believed in Carl before. Bulk up. Yes. Right now, snap out of confusion is my literally my only wish for you right now. Please, snap out of it. Don't do it. No. No. Okay. That's not terrible. That's pretty good. Okay, one more. Come on. Oh my god, please don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. I believe. I believe. Yes, okay. At least don't hit yourself. Right now. Okay, you're really just gonna spam protect. Like, is that your is that your strategy right now? How am I so confused? No. Ah. Yes, he's out of it. He's gonna use aerial ace, and as long as he doesn't crit me, I'll be fine. I'll use the war gun. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, <laughs> without healing, I don't think. Without healing, we just we just we managed to defeat her. I didn't really want to heal because I thought that was cheap, but we did it in the end. Carl will actually be in the MVP for the flying type gym. Who thought of that, hey? Eh? But it's okay. In recognition of your prowess, I present with you the gym. I don't even know prowess is a word. We got just over 3k with that too, which is pretty good. Anyway, the feather badge is now ours. That was a that was a roller coaster of a battle, but we're okay. Pokemon up to level 70, Trader will obey you, and she will give me a beautiful TM. Which I believe is Aerial Ace, TM of TM 40 is Aerial Ace. Mm-hmm. Cool. Thank you for that. Anyway, so now that we've done the gym, we can just hop over these ledges. Instead of going back all the way through, go back and heal at the Pokemon Center. And, um, just carry on, really. Like, that was kind of what we have to do in Fortree, to take on the gym. I didn't do crazy. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go heal one sec. Okay, so now that we've done that, now that we have access to actually using fly um, around the region, what I'm going to do in the next episode is I'm going to fly to a few spaces that um, I haven't been to before, that I haven't used surf on before. Like, I haven't really surfed down this route in Battle of the Trainers or surfed along here in Battle of the Trainers. So, we're going to go ahead and do that in the next episode um, before we continue on to Lady Cove over here. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be the next episode, guys. Look forward to that, and I'll see you guys in a couple days. See ya.